Hello, my friends. Well, I am starting another vlog. I have been traveling this summer, guys. I am scheduled to fly out tonight to go to Las Vegas. I'm a little skeptical, a little nervous because I have been delayed already. So I was supposed to leave at 10 p.m. tonight. It has already been delayed for an hour. Go figure. So I'm just arriving at the airport and we're gonna see what happens guys. So I'll check in later when I know exactly what time I'll be departing. Seatbelts to be securely fastened, all tray tables in their upright lock position and all carry-ons properly stowed. This time all passengers must place their mobile and electronic devices in airplane mode. And once we're on the ground, feel free to use your mobile. Well you guys, I have made it to Las Vegas. It is about 4.15 in the morning. I'm not having luck with these flights. Hey you guys, I'm outside of the airport. It is late guys, it's about 4.30 a.m. Oh my gosh. I've had some experiences on flights lately, but I'm standing here waiting on the taxi to take me to the hotel. I'll be staying at South Point, right close to the strip. My guy is in a bowling tournament, so I'm supporting him in that. And uh, yeah, I just got in late tonight. But anyway, I will see you all in the morning. I just want y'all to know that I made it here safely. The taxis are rolling in now, so I'm number four here. I don't know if y'all can see my sign number four here so I'm waiting and to get to the hotel I'll probably show you the hotel in the morning because I'm going to sleep so I'll see y'all later Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. I am in Las Vegas. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am in Las Vegas guys. It is afternoon. I got here this morning early and I've been knocked out sleep. My intentions was to get up early. I wanted to do breakfast. I was trying to do everything I could because it's a very short trip, but I was tired guys. My I've been having some bad flight experiences, guys. You know, I had a bad experience with American. Last night I was on Soul Plane. <laughs> some of y'all won't get that. But anyway, I flew in Allegiant. Allegiant has a direct flight from Memphis to Las Vegas. And so I flew in last night on Allegiant Airlines, guys. Another big debacle with that. It's not as bad, though, but... Uh, I was supposed to leave last night at 10 p.m. and get here on in uh, Vegas by 11.55 Pacific time. I think that's the time they're on. And my flight got delayed twice. <laughs> so I actually ended up leaving Memphis at 1 a.m. So I got here 3 a.m., which would have been 5 a.m. in Memphis. So guys, whew. I'm t I was tired last night, so needless to say, I slept. But anyway, I got two whole days here. I got today and Sunday because I'll be leaving Monday evening around 4. So I'm going to do a lot 
I gotta do a lot so I can capture a little bit of Vegas. I'm hoping to reach out to uh, someone that I follow uh, and follow. She follows me. Her name is Mo. Mo the Goddess lives here in Vegas right now, currently. And I told her I would reach out to her. So I'm gonna try to reach out to her on tomorrow because I gotta support my babes. He's bowling, so he's in a tournament uh, pretty much all day today until this evening. And then we're gonna go out on the strip. He got to show me the strip. Got to show me the strip. Can't come to Vegas and not see the strip. I'm um, actually not on the strip. I'm probably about, I can see it in the distance over this way, but I'm at South Point uh, Hotel, which you can't go wrong with any hotels here in Vegas. So I'm gonna give y'all a real quick tour of my hotel. Uh, of course, the room has been used, but anyway, it's really cute, guys. So where's the lights over here? Okay, yeah. So I don't know what this little thing is here, but we come in here, got like a little foyer. And then when you get here, in the lobby, got this full length mirror here. It's a really cute mirror. And then that's the room. So to my right is the bathroom. I hate to show y'all this room messy, but been using it already. So this is the vanity area, really cute. Love the mirror, the gold tone around the mirror. And there's a makeup mirror there. Got a carrot here for coffee. This is all my little stuff here. And then the bathroom, actual bath area is separate from the vanity area. So you got your toilet and your shower. So it's pretty basic, but pretty cute. Got a little elegant touch to it. I like the uh, wall back here, the backdrop. Then we have the closet here, which is where you have a safe and you know where you can hang your clothes and stuff. Then when you come into the main bedroom, it's so open, guys. We have two full beds, but you got a desk here with another mirror and lights, the phone, of course. Then you have the vanity, your TV. Love the beds. Then you have this lounger chair, um, two table and chairs here, but this is very spacious. This room is really wide, very wide. And then I have this amazing view of the mountains, guys. Anybody that didn't know the name of these mountains, drop it in the comments. But it's very beautiful, guys. I've been standing here this morning just looking out. It is just beautiful. So I'm going to try to bring you guys along with me today on some of our, you know, escapades. Like I said, this morning, matter of fact, he had to go check in uh, this morning because I think he has a bowling uh, tournament at 12. And so then I think it's another one at 3. So uh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. I'm on my body. is still on Memphis time and I intermittent fast. So it's time for me because it's only um, 11. 11 10 here, but it's 110 on my body. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go find me some food. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. You know, of course, this is a casino. So as soon as you get downstairs, there's a big casino area, whatever. But yeah, let me go ahead and get all these orange color mirrors. Lighting, rather, is even worse in here. But yeah, guys, I'm in Vegas. I am in Las Vegas. This is my very first trip to Las Vegas. It's something else to scratch off the bucket list. There was a few places I wanted to do actually visit here in the States and Vegas was one of them. Not because of gambling or anything. I just always wanted to see all the lights and, you know, I actually said I wanted to come out here and go to a show. I probably won't be able to do that this trip because we have such a rigorous schedule with his bowling. Uh, he will be bowling up until, uh, well, Tuesday. He'll be here to Tuesday. I'm leaving on Monday, um, but he'll be here to Tuesday. So yeah, guys. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. Guys, I'm so excited to be here. And it's beautiful. It's, it looks like it's just a big desert. Because <laughs> last night when I was looking out the window, I saw a bunch of lights. And I thought that was just like a downtown city lights. Well, this morning, I could tell that it's residential. So I was like, wow. <laughs> that's kind of crazy to be right up on the casinos and hotels, the residential area. But that's the way they roll down here. But it's beautiful that... Those mountains, I know this camera's not going to give it justice, especially through the window. So hopefully I'll be able to see it, you know, today I'll be able to get out and actually see a little bit of the backdrop. And I can show you guys it better clear, not through all of this glass and light and stuff. So, y'all, yeah, stay tuned. I'm in Las Vegas, guys. <laughs> I have to show y'all these little house shoes that the hotel provided for us. Ain't they cute? And you can actually take them with you. They say South Point. Pretty cute. 
that I have to be one of my memorabilia or souvenirs I take back. <laughs> so I'm going to keep mine and take them back with me. <laughs> Well, you guys, welcome to Las Vegas Strip. Man, I'm going to tell you guys, it was so much to see. So much to see. And I know this camera is all over the place. I have so much footage that I cannot bring it all in one video. This may be a two-part video, but I still won't be bringing all of it. My hopes is that I'll just give you a little bit of a peek into the Las Vegas Strip and surrounding areas if you've never been here before. If you've been here before, you know how magnificent and amazing this city can be. During the day, it's like a big New York shopping escapade, I think. But at night, the lights, it opens up and it becomes this beautiful LED neon place to be and hang out and have a great time so here I'm just showing you some of the hotels and casinos that are well known like Caesars Palace um, the Bellagio Bali's I'm gonna show you let's take a look as we go here there's Bali's out to the side there um, it's so beautiful the architecture here is amazing um, someone told me that it's 40 minutes around the entire city, but you wouldn't believe it, all the stuff that you see. There's the Flamingo over there to my right. Uh, I did get opportunity to walk through some of these places. You see the Caesars Palace up, up, up above there. This is a beautiful place, guys. It's so full of wonder, magnificent, Margaritaville. It is so much to do, so much to see. You definitely will need more than a couple of days. Off to my right there is Parrots, and then there's the Mirage. These places are simply beautiful, guys. You cannot go wrong with any hotels or casinos that you visit in Vegas. Remember Donnie and Marie Osmond? Donnie has a residency here in Las Vegas. I had an opportunity to ride on a bus called the Deuce and it's a double decker bus and I was very very lucky to be able to sit in the front so I had this big open window to be able to capture all of this there's the stratosphere when you see it from a distance you do not realize how big this thing really is guys Oh my goodness, it is so high up in the sky. Here we're about to ride through the arches of the Las Vegas sign. 
it's a landmark here a lot of people want to capture as they come and visit the strip so we decided to get off of the bus and stroll through downtown Las Vegas let me tell you this Downtown is an experience all on its own. Check it out. So when we got off the bus, we were in an area downtown and the street name is Fremont Street. This most popular street, I guess, in downtown Vegas. It's where a lot of the activities take place, a lot of shows, shopping, a lot of food, and it's a covered street. And if you look above, you see all these different color lights, they change colors. You got people who are zip lining. It is an amazing sight to see. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's beautiful. Children would love it because there's all types of designs and rainbow colors and Neon, all different types of things. It's a show in itself just to look up at the lights of the cover street. And guys, it's a great place to be even if it was raining. Now, of course, we had to try some street food. Not really street food, but we did have to try some food down on Fremont Street and we decided to get pizza. And it was delicious, guys. I simply had some cheese pizza and it was amazing. So after we ate, we decided to do a little walking around and exploring and checking out downtown Las Vegas. It's truly a place of entertainment. Uh, I would suggest maybe small young kids at night because people are a little rowdy. It can be like New Orleans. You see a little things that maybe you don't want your children to see, but it's certainly an experience. It's vibrant. It's alive. Uh, you see the people who are zip lining overhead. It's kind of cool to be walking downtown and see that. I actually wanted to try it, but I was wearing a dress. So I'll have to try that the next time. So we decided to leave downtown because it was starting to get nightfall and I wanted to experience the strip at night. So coming up next on the final episode of my first trip to Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm going to bring you Las Vegas Strip at night. Please stay tuned. The excitement is just beginning and you don't want to miss this episode. Thank you so much for watching. <music>